Hello and welcome back to another video on WD18, the Watford fan channel. And today we are joined by none other than Watford left back and fan favourite, Hassan Kamara. Hassan, how are you today, mate? I'm very good, and you? Yeah, all good. All, all good, thank you. Um, obviously, thank you for taking your time out to speak to, uh, to, speak to me today. Um, in Austria at the moment, pre-season, must be quite busy. How's it been so far this week? Uh, this week we 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 worked uh, every every very well. Um, we have a lot of training. We we um, we uh, we try uh, our 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 shape. We we work our shape. Our how the coach want uh, how we play this season, and we. We play. We, we work physically also. It, it it it's very good. Let's just talk briefly on um, last season. Obviously, it was a difficult season uh, for Watford fans and for the players as well, um, where we got relegated from the Premier League. Um, let's talk about when you moved to Watford in January. What attracted you to Watford, and how did the move come about? So uh, I would like play uh, in the Premier League, and uh, Watford gave me this opportunity. So um, I've been happy to to uh, to come here to come here and uh, is uh, I came here directly. You won the Player of the Season award after um, after you know some really good displays in the second half of the season. How did that feel to win the Player of the Season award? Uh, I'm very proud because. Uh, uh, I, I came just from January, and uh, it's my first trophy. And uh, when uh, I saw that, I'm I am impressed, and uh, I'm very very happy to to have to had this uh, this trophy. Good, good stuff. And uh, I mean, we have to talk about the relegation just briefly. Um, what do you think you can learn from the relegation last season? Um. We can learn a lot of things. Uh, we need to be more competitive. So, what I mean, it's um, it's a player, the the club, everyone have to have to be more competitive. When we lose just uh, two or three games, we have to to put the alarm and uh, to to try what happened. You don't have to let uh, five, six, seven game. It's it's it, uh, it's too it's too much. We we need to we need to uh, to work together on the pitch, outside the pitch, um, and I think like that we we can be more competitive. Okay, good. Yeah, no, that, that's really good to hear. And that'll definitely help us last season. Um, there was a really good, uh, I, I spoke to you just now before we came on air, uh, about when I got your shirt at um, Aston Villa away. Um, there was It was a really good 1-0 win, thanks to a goal from Emmanuel Dennis. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously that game was away from home, um, but uh, playing at Vicarage Road, what's it like to play in front of the Watford fans? I like it because uh, Watford, Watford fan give to us a, a big support because yeah. um, sometimes you know when you lose a lot of game yeah it, it's difficult to continue to support the team but what for fun every games at home away uh, i saw the the, the fan uh, push the team and uh, i'm impressed because uh, it's, it's normally to 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 be angry with this result but uh, what for what for fans every every time give to us uh, support and it uh, is very very important good good to hear yeah we we've really enjoyed having you at the club so far and you, you know you've really interacted with the fans well you seem to have a good relationship with the fans one way you've done this is on social media on twitter and on instagram how important is it for you to build a good relationship with the fans but it it's very important because uh, if the football is popular, it's because the fan, because the people who who look the game. So the fan, it's very important because uh, because without fan, it's not football. You saw when when you you played uh, during the COVID, without fan, it's not football. So uh, the fan are 
in the club is uh, we, we, we uh, in the club you have the player you have the staff you have the direction and you have the fan so uh, and the fight the, the fan pay to to come to to see the team so we, we need to we, we have to to um, to create some good relationship with uh, with them obviously a new manager's come in this summer rob edwards um what's your first impressions of the new manager what's he been like so far uh it's good for a lot of reasons first uh it's new new coach so when we can uh, b build something new some uh, we can build some new thing and uh, um, i like uh, his ideas he won't uh, play control the game but um, we know the this season it uh, it will be difficult we want to 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 going back to Premier League so to to going back we have to to win a lot of game and it's not easy but uh, now the the coach um, i like when uh, i i um, I, I like the, the working with the coach because uh, he he brings uh, new ideas and uh, I hope uh, it will be good. It might bring a slight change of position to you because Rob Edwards likes to, likes to play with five defenders across the back. Um, will that change your game a lot, having to play at, for example, left wing back rather than at left back? Uh, yes, for sure. It's different. It's like that uh, we, we work uh, the, new, the new shape because... Uh, when you play 4-4-2 or 3-5-2, it's not the same game. But uh, for me, the shape is not the problem. The problem is, the uh, important thing is how you, you play in the shape. Yeah. So we work, we work it and um, I think uh, he will be good. Definitely. And, you know, while the new head coach has changed, a lot of the players are still the same. Who are your best friends at the club and who do you know often spend a lot of time with? I uh, spend a lot of time with Imran, with uh, Edo, with Kaba, Sele, with, uh, with Bayo also. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I, I speak with everyone. I uh, I like the, the the young player also, KB, Kwadru, uh, Tom Dele, Aiden, JJ, Maurice. I speak I speak with everyone. But I yeah. knew to Edo, Imran. Yeah. No, definitely. That, that's really good. And you mentioned there Vakun Bayo, who just joined the club. Um, what can Watford fans expect from him and what's he like as a player? Um, he, he's a good player and he's, uh, he have, he's generous. He don't, uh, he, don't, um, he don't care. He runs a lot. He tries to score. He has the ball. Um, he, he's good. And... Um, we we have to to put him in confidence because striker need to the team, so we have to to give to him good ball because uh, he he have to score to help the team, and uh, it uh, it's important for him and for the team. So we need to what for fun to uh, support him because it uh, is a important player. What are your thoughts going into next season as, as a whole? And, and what are your thoughts on the championship? Had you heard a lot about it before coming to England? I have some players, some friends in France uh, who played in championship and they told me it's a very difficult uh, championship because uh, the player run a lot, the, the, the player give a life on the pitch and every two days you play but uh, and the player of Watford tell me the, the, the same thing, but now we will see. Fine. we we here is not uh, we don't have any choice to to play in the in the championship. And and do you think that at the moment um, the squad? Do you think we're, we're going to be aiming to for promotion this season? Do you think that that's the most important thing? It's very important because uh, sure we we won't play in championship, but. For me, the most important th thing is to to find our team to build something uh, solid. I prefer going going back to Premier League after two years and stay in Premier League ten years to to going next year and come back uh, to Championship. It's important to create something 
solid and after we can we can go there as a as a team of Premier League no as a team going go back go up go back go up we're just going to end off the interview now i'm going to give you some quick fire questions so first off who is your favorite player growing up ronaldinho 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 great yes, player. when i saw this video uh, amazing player great player In, uh, very, I, I, because me i like dribble and ronaldinho is the best one of dribble for me, I, I like uh, to see him. Love that, love that. And who's the most difficult player you've ever played against? Mm, maybe Elonga, maybe? No, no, in, in uh, every every time. Yeah. Every time, yes, maybe Elonga. Okay, yeah, that, 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 that's that. Yeah. Elonga, Saka, maybe? That's really interesting, yeah, both from last season. Yes. Um, who, who do you prefer out of Messi and Ronaldo? Mm. Usually, I prefer Messi because uh, for me, Messi can score, can assist, can dribble, can uh, make the, the game as midfielder. But uh, Cristiano is uh, he need big respect. So I think we cannot uh, we cannot uh, ask this question. Both players, amazing player, but it's different. Definitely, definitely. Ronaldo, when you saw the statistic of Ronaldo in Champions League, is amazing. Uh, in Portugal, in Real Madrid, everywhere around he go, he uh, he he was very good. So definitely. I don't know, but me usually I prefer Messi, but now I don't know. Definitely, fair enough, fair enough. Um, who is the funniest player at Watford? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Kabasele, Kabasele. Kaba, definitely. Because uh, Kabasele, I asked him to him, uh, how is the name of the, of this physio? And he tell me bullshit. <laughs> tell me Patrick, but the physio is Carlo. You <laughs> love that, love that. And uh, who's who is your favorite player at Watford? My favorite player, yeah, uh, is Joao. Joao, yes. yeah, really good player, he's really good, good player. player. I think uh, he can improve uh, his game mentally, yeah. but it's very, very good player. I, I, uh, I like to see him on the training. He dribbles everywhere and after he scores, he's amazing. Definitely, <laughs> he's definitely. Um, what's your favorite food, Hassan? I uh, don't have favorite food. I like uh, African food, Asian food, Arabic food, um, but I will chicken, watermelon, and chocolate. The, <laughs> I like it a lot. Fair enough. But, uh, I don't have uh, just one favorite food. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, what do you prefer between Twitter and Instagram? Mm, I like Twitter a lot because uh, you can see a lot of information. But on Twitter, the people can be uh, can be um, can be bad uh, easy. You understand? Yeah, yeah. They, they can uh, make fake and uh, write uh, whatever they want. So it's, it's not uh, it's not. I, I, I don't have the word. It's not. Um... Yeah, it, it can sometimes be a bit difficult on the app when yes. you have people on there. You know, people saying saying but, things sort of. Yes. You know. Yeah. Quite it's, easy. It's, I like Instagram, but I yeah. think I prefer Twitter. Yeah, and and Watford fans love you on Twitter as well. The way you speak to the fans on Twitter, it's really good. Like like we spoke about earlier. Um, last quick fire question: Who is the best in training at Watford? Yes, the show, show. Yeah, good. Yes. Really good to hear. But um, I will show, I will show you something. Uh, stay connect. Sunday, Monday, I will show you something on. No, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, but I think it's Joao because uh, he create a lot of things, can he score a lot of goal, and he dribble a lot of people. I think it's him. But uh, it is it, bad question. You know what? Because when you ask this question and after you will put on the internet, maybe he will see that and after 
uh, he don't will really work more. You understand? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's so it's important to to speak about the team because now in the training camp the team work a lot. No one uh, no one work. Everyone run a lot. Try to to do better. It's important to 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 tell to tell this because uh, uh, in this season. In this training camp, the every player work very well. Good, good to hear. Good to hear. Important to tell it. Definitely, definitely. And uh, Hassan, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, just the last question for you: Do you have a message for the Watford fans? Uh, my message for the Watford fan first is uh, thank you, uh, thank you so much for the support, and uh, I hope. The next year we will score a lot of goals and we will have a, a lot of win at home away because uh, the, the, the fans deserve it. Hassan, thank you so much for joining us today. Best of luck with the rest thank of the season and uh, we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. See you.